What if season two just wrapped up on Disney Plus? And the question is, what if? Exciting or lame? I'm not a huge fan of what if, and Griff knows this. I I only really liked one episode of the first season, and it was the Doctor Strange one. I thought it was a great episode. The best episode Everything. of what ifs. If you ask me what the other episodes were about, I wouldn't even be able to tell you. I just, I can't remember. And I wasn't surprised that this was kind of the case with What If Season 2. There are two episodes that I enjoyed, and I really enjoyed them. One of them was, you know, Tony Stark, um, his episode, his main episode. And the other one was <laughs> Hella Finds the Ten Rings episode. I thought that episode was awesome. I thought she rocked it. I love seeing Odin and, you know, being mad. And I, I've never... Other than in comics, I've never seen him on leash like this. So I enjoyed the episode. If you guys ask me what the other episodes were about, I can't fucking remember. I just <laughs> and I saw all of them. I just, you know, it didn't it didn't didn't really grip me as I told Griff earlier. I would if I was doing what if, I'd do some I don't I can't say better, but I'd it would be totally different than this. I mean, yeah, I mean, one of the episodes in the comics was like, what if uh, Aunt May was the Herald of Galactus? I mean, there's definitely some outlandish ones. Honestly, I, I do follow a little bit along with Edward there. Most of these episodes were, were just okay, especially this the beginning four. Those were just, they're okay. They're, they, they did like try to get better as time went on, but I do I did like more episodes than, than Edward. I really enjoyed the new character they introduced, Kahore. I thought that episode was spectacular. I think that one may have been the best of the season for me. I really enjoyed her. I enjoyed the the culture, and I I wonder if they actually are going to bring her to live action because they've she was pretty fun. It's some great visuals, but who knows how it's going to translate to live action? I do agree. Hella had an amazing episode. That one was second of my list. It was amazing. For me, I, I do enjoy the show. I, I really do have fun with it. I think I just, I enjoy the voice cast because they do try to bring a lot of the voice actors back. Of course, they they didn't get RDJ, Chris Evans, or Scarlett Johansson to come back for their roles. They're, they've moved on from Marvel, and that's fine. But I, I do enjoy just hearing the live action come to animation. Just, yeah, some of it is a bit goofy. Like the Avengers of 1602, there was, Scott Lang had some, pretty goofy lines but you can tell paul rudd was having fun and that made me have a little bit of fun and that that's what i'm here for the animation and visuals in the show are a lot of fun to look at even in the bad episodes they have fantastic animation but as as edward did say they they, they definitely played it a little bit safe and they could do a lot more crazy oh, definitely. things you gotta that... remember they have the rights to all of their characters animation wise so it's not the same thing with the movies you could do some extraordinary shit you could do some dr doom level stuff like make him a good guy you know like I think be one of the, the fantastic four what if he was I think they do want know. that but they need i think they want to introduce these characters from live action first and then go to animation i doubt they're going to introduce dr doom in in animation then go live action but that at some point that would be cool because they can really do crazy things like this whereas all of these things are like in realms of their character. That's not really big changes. So maybe exactly seeing something big like that. It's will, what if um, I really want to see some, you know, off the wall shit. Like what would you do for like, if you had a what, what if episode to pitch to Marvel right now, what would it be? Um, I would really want to do something with Xavier and Magneto. Like, and, and we've seen both of them in live action. I, I, I'd really want to do like, a what if of X Men? Like, what if Magneto was, you know, in Charles's position? Like, what if yeah, and Charles good. Charles was, you know, the antagonist? I'd I'd want to see that. I'd I'd want to see uh, a what if with the Fantastic Four and with uh, Iron Man. I think, yeah. you know, I was a little bit robbed of my dynamic between Reed Richards and Tony Stark being in the same room. So I'd want to see that. Well, what if season three has already been confirmed? We even got our first look at it yesterday yeah. with between Bucky Barnes and the Red Guardian. Maybe we'll get some with X Men and Fantastic Four, although probably unlikely probably until they're I mean, after Secret Wars. If they continue this show, yeah, we we we, we may get them. Considering we're gonna have Fantastic Four and X Men at that point, 
We'll see. I mean, what is, let us know what you guys thought about What If Season 2 in the comments. Are there any episodes you liked or didn't like? And what is your guys' What If pitch for Season 3? I really want a Star Wars What If. Oh, God, that'd be so cool. That, that's got to be coming at some point. But, uh, yeah, those are our thoughts, guys. As always, thanks for joining us. Thanks for subscribing, and Happy New Year's.